started getting it to getting it to be in, he kind of got you going. Then you were starting to attack their point guard. Um, you know, just just trying to get in the paint and uh, make the right read, whether it's for myself or for shooters. Um, we did a good time playing fast, and uh, I don't think they wanted to play like that. And at the end of the day, we just made shots. Made shots. Did you think at all back to that Charlotte game? I mean, it kind of had a feel uh, that game. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. You know, we had been in this position before. We just came all the way back and uh, just tried to do it again. Just tried a little short. Do you put more emphasis on the second and third quarters that went bad or the fourth quarter that went well? I mean, how do you how do you um, balance that? You gotta you know, you gotta look at it and learn from it from the first you know, first three quarters and then build on the fourth quarter. So you got you gotta take a look at both. There was that Charlotte game but also a week ago there was a Boston game where you guys were at the opposite end and almost let a lead like this slip away. I mean I'm, in your first 35 games or so, are you amazed at how quickly things can just turn around in this? Um, league? you know, maybe at first, but not not anymore. Um, you know, a 24 second shot clock you know, gives you gives you a lot of time to come back. Um, just gotta get stops and make shots. The last game, seems like you've kind of been letting your offense a little bit more. Is that just a matter of getting more comfortable with the NBA speed or something that Jock's kind of push you to do? Um, you know, just just with the, whatever the team needs. Um, you know, and that's just going with experience and. Uh, you know, being in this first unit, um, you know, so what they need me to score or distribute, you know, just, just trying to fill the game out each game. How much did Devin have to do with it? I mean, here's a guy that just got into town a couple of days ago and now he's playing the entire fourth quarter. You know, everybody that was out there played huge parts. Um, he did a good job on the defensive end, he, um, made shots, made a good pass to Evan in the corner. Um, it was, he was big. Mm -hmm. You said you needed one more punch, you feel like? If you could have started that thing a little earlier, maybe you could have completed it. Yeah, definitely, definitely. If we went and dug ourselves in that such a deep hole, um, I think we could have pulled this one out. You guys seem to miss um, some close range shots in the second quarter, especially. Uh, how much was their height and uh, maybe Plumlee's ability to jump disruptive? Um, he's a good player, but you know, at the end of the day, we just we just didn't finish. Um, myself included. Um, you get that close, you gotta finish. He's a good player. How do young players go about improving? Is it just is it just reps? Is it reps with? What about improving? Uh, improving finishing. Oh, uh, you just gotta practice. Yeah, like you said, reps, reps. Um, they try and get in with your bigs, have them try and block your shot, things like that. It's just something you gotta work on. This, this team seems to have the ability to you know, flip the switch on when they get down. How do you guys keep the switch on the whole game? Um. You know, it starts, I, I take that stuff with the point guard, um, bringing energy from the beginning, making sure we're doing what we need to do, and getting stops on our day. Is that a learning point for you then that you were part of the starting group that maybe dug, dug yourself a little bit of a hole, but then part of the finishing group that dug, that got yourself back out of it? Yeah, um, you know, just got to just gotta play with that same energy from uh, from the tip to the end. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks. Thank you.